Welcome everyone, I'm Daniel the Mediocre Ranger. Got an army list for you today from possibly my number one favorite faction, Lothlorien. I think it overcomes the usual pitfalls of this faction and it's gonna be hard hitting, kinda hard to play with, but I think it's one of those that if you pull it off that you could have a decent chance against anybody. So here it is. The number one weakness of Lothlorien, and I run into this over and over, is its strength. You've got base strength three on all your fighting troops, and then you sneak in a couple heroes with strength four. And it's that strength four in particular that has just made me so frustrated in games past. All it takes is for my opponent to have one little hero at defense seven, even a captain with heavy armor and shield, and all of a sudden my big hitter is wounding their little hero on sixes, and you know how difficult it can be to chase sixes. Sometimes it just doesn't come. Do you wanna be spending your might points to bump up your fives just to give a wound on a captain? That can be incredibly frustrating. So I've tried a few things in the past such as allying in Glorfindel. Turns out he's strength four too. He fits in well, but he doesn't build that need that I have in Lothlorien. So here's my Lothlorien alliance list with the fellowship, 600 points, let's go. So I've got Aragorn and he's got a bunch of kit. He has got armor, bow, elven cloak, and Anduril. And then his buddy Legolas, I get to see them doing some tag team work together and he's got armor and elven cloak as well. That's the fellowship contingent. From Lothlorien, we've got Haldir as the leader, and he's got his full kit too, heavy armor and bow, and yes, Elven Cloak, because why not? So that's three heroes so far, and this is gonna be a slightly smaller army. I often do those, I like elite troops. To work with that and not be hopelessly outnumbered, Haldir's got a full warband, full 15 from his Hero of Valor status. So we're gonna start off with 11 elves on foot. Every single one of them has a spear, Eight have shield, which is what comes in the plastic kit. Three have bow. So 11 elves on foot, eight with spear shield, three with bow and spear. One of those spear shield elves also is carrying a banner. And then we've got three cavalry, three knights of the Galadrim. We've got one with a bow and shield and two more with just shield. Lastly, one more spot, gotta sneak in a sentinel. The wood elf sentinel gives you so much flexibility in this army and is super fun to use. And yeah, that's not a real Sentinel model, but I'm not the money bags ranger, I'm the mediocre ranger. So we've got five bows, three from the foot soldier, one from the Sentinel, one on horse. So we've got some flexibility there and we got the five max five bows on our warriors there as well. So I'm excited to use this, even though I've got a small amount of troops, I'm gonna be outnumbered often. My shield wall of the 11 troops can shield often. They've got their banner for the reroll. You can roll three dice when you're shielding and in a range of a banner with your fight five to try to win the fight. And even if they win, you're at defense six. And so you're looking pretty good on not getting wiped off the field right away. So they can buy you some time. You also have some incredibly fast cavalry who don't slow down in the woods. So your flexibility, your maneuverability is outrageous. You've got woodland creature on everyone except for Aragorn. And so your speed through wooded terrain is just fantastic. Now let's talk about Aragorn. He does so much for this army. The weakness again is the hitting power. He brings that. Often I struggle to get enough might in a Lothlorien list and he's gonna help that so much. Might is actually not a problem on this list. I've got nine might since I've got three three might heroes in Legolas, Aragorn, and Haldir, and then Aragorn's three might per turn. I'm actually looking fantastic on might, so I can call those heroic moves that I'll need to to get out of traps and st tricky situations, so I'm feeling good about that as well. Now how about archery? We've got the bow on Aragorn, we've got the bow on Haldir, and so you've got a shot when you need it and when it makes sense to. Don't fall into the trap of shooting every turn with Aragorn, but on turns you need it, you've got the bow. Legolas, you've got three shots or that one almost auto hit when you need it to knock out a horse or something like that. And then Haldir, expert shot, he's taking two shots a turn. So you've got five elf warriors with bow, but you also have three heroes that give you a total of six shots right there when you need it. And so your archery can actually do something. You've got nine or 10 might behind bows. If you absolutely just have to wipe something off the board because it would wreck you, you can put some might into it just to wipe that hero off. 
and you're gonna come out right. So let's talk about what I'm up against. What do I not wanna see on the other side of the table? Magic is one of those first things I'm always thinking of, and when I've got spells coming my way, I bet every spell's probably coming to Aragorn because everyone else besides Legolas and Aragorn has resistant to magic. Free dice to resist spells on all my warriors even, so I'm loving that. Fortunately, all three of my heroes have elven cloaks. So if I've got some Nazgul on the other side or just something nasty, I'm gonna be using terrain a lot, especially to hide my heroes so that they are untargetable and a free dice for my warriors if they're in line of sight. Now how about monsters? I usually don't play super aggressive to take down monsters. It's an area of my gaming that I'm not super good at. I usually get scared of these big bad things and run away. But with Aragorn, I feel a lot more confident. So maybe some tag teaming with Haldir and Aragorn. Oh gosh, I even forgot. Haldir gets a reroll when he's close to Aragorn. So this list is even better than I thought. That's wonderful. Uh, yeah, I like it. So with those tools, and I've got three fight six heroes, and then fight five across all 15 troops, my fight value is looking fantastic three striking heroes, so we can easily take on some big monsters, some big baddies, some things that um, are gonna pose troubles to most armies. I've got the tools to deal with them. Or if you don't wanna fight them, you just go crazy on your elf bows and your archery, since almost every bow shot's at strength three as well. And so I'm feeling like I've got some tools to deal with those things. My biggest weakness is having low numbers, 18 troops, I'm almost always gonna be outnumbered, and so that's gonna be an issue, something I have to work around but I feel like I've got the quality to deal with that and be okay when I'm outnumbered. And then mobility could be an issue as well. I only have three horses, none of them are heroes, so I can't overly rely on them producing consistent results. That could be an issue, something that I'd struggle with, but when I need it, Aragorn's gonna be heroic marching all over the place every turn, and that's gonna be, again, a better than usual situation for Lothlorien as well. So I'm curious what you think of this list. I love making non-standard army lists that still perform. I think this one has it. Honestly, I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna use it next week and I'll get some trial runs on it and learn how to use it. But at first blush, what do you think of this? Would you feel confident going up against a wide array of enemies? Let's say you've got six different games over a tournament. Would you feel like you have the tools to deal with your opponent and the scenarios? Honestly, the scenarios could be a bigger issue if you're really forced to spread out super far. But gosh, elves with high courage, like it's not the worst situation. So here's my question for you. What do you think of this list? Is it a pass? Is it a fail? Is it awesome? Is it just treacherous for you as the player? I wanna know. And then do you have any little tweaks? Like you could get a horse there on Aragorn and Legolas and drop some guys. I mean, you've got some trade-offs and things you could do. Drop the Sentinel, like, I don't wanna do that. But again, I'm, I'm curious if there are any tweaks that you would have that could improve this or cover up some of the more weaknesses that it does have. And so reach out, I wanna hear what you would do to make this even better, and then I'll steal your idea. Hey, thanks for sticking around, I'm so glad you did. If you wanna support this video, would you give it a thumbs up? Thanks for being a part of the awesome Middle Earth SVG community. Goodbye for now.